Welcome Peekable and uh, welcome back to Dutch Modeling with another review. This time it's an uh, ICM kit and I'm going to take the, a little moment to thank ICM themselves for providing the review samples to me. Very, very much appreciated. So. Uh, the ICM kit will be my first review for ICM kit ever. And this is the newly released <coughs> the World War II German truck, the Type L3000S, Mercedes. Let's uh, see the box art. Looks really pretty. 135 scale. Here's a little write up. I'm going to read it, just pause it. Contact detail. It's only 14 year plus. Mm, it doesn't say. Ah, it is 168 parts, 70.6 mm in length, and 7.1 cm in height. On the side, you got another box art with the kit number, which is 35420. Here's some Painting markings in German grey and the box height again on its length and kit number. So let's open this up. I have rather peculiar boxes. You can see. And here's the instruction sheet and one bag of sprues. Let's put this to the side. Let's go over the instruction sheet first. A uh, booklet, glossy paper, in color, color cola is also in color, so that's already a plus. <coughs> uh, write up about the vehicle in Russian or Ukrainian, I don't know if it's the same, but and in English, especially uh, together with the Technical specifications and the paint callouts are in Revel and in Tamia. That's something new as well. <coughs> Start with the decals. Yeah. Show you them later after this. Uh, this proof map it is uh, numbered and it's large, the big, the pictures to be honest. But that's also a good thing. Uh, this is normal paper, but also in color, so let's see. Uh, it looks like they start with building up the engine. And you got... Number B is for painting variant 1 and 3, 1, 2, 3, and if you got C, you got for painting variant 4, all chassis details except market separately. Yeah, I have no clue what that means. Oh, well, and there's also an A and an F. That doesn't say. <laughs> they only got A's and A's and F's. Is that linked to? Ah, okay. That's linked to the color. Yeah. So that will be linked to the color. Every time there's a letter, that will be linked to the color call out on the front. So. Yeah, this is for me also the first time I see instructions like these, so this may take a little bit longer than normal. Just don't want to miss anything. Uh, building up the chassis, marrying the, sh the engine with the chassis and the gearbox, exhaust placed. Here's shown how it should be, that's a good thing. The uh, wheel arcs, uh, 
transmission, steering, wheels and tires, double iron, single iron, yeah, no door goes on. This is the roof, the cap, the glass goes in, the dashboard, it says the decal numbers, so that's a good thing, colors, the seat, the flooring, the gas and the brake and the clutch, the sides of the cab, so the cab's completely different parts, the back with the window, Goes on the front, goes on as you can see here. Steering wheel goes in, and then it goes so. So, first steering wheel, then it goes on. Uh, the doors with the door lining, the windows go being made in, and the other side goes in. <coughs> and the cap being placed for some reason, they show this on the sides. No clue why, but okay. Uh, caps being married here. There's an opening on the chassis. That's probably why they show it like this. There's an opening in the chassis where that should fit, and the steering column should fit in there. The grill being built up, front bumper. Still have a nice view of the engine. Uh, steering parts and front wheels. Building up of the uh, engine. Hood, cowlings, don't know if it's okay. The grill goes in and you cover up the engine. So I'm guessing you can also portray one of these open so you can see the engine, otherwise, you won't be able to see the engine completely. That would kind of be a shame. Uh, the flat back, bed, flat bed, sorry, for the back. Large pieces, wood railings, front uh, system that goes on the chassis, girders, spare wheel, uh, toolboxes, fuel cans, hand holder, cherry can holders, everything goes in. The mud flap or the uh, wheel arcs in this toolbox, you can have a how it's supposed to look, and nicely tucked away underneath. And then again, a slightly turned view of how the flatbed marries with the chassis. And again, you can see here and there that's how it's supposed to connect. Exterior detailing, mirrors, tools, the hood ornament, window wipers, and the sign. Here, the no tech light and everything's being built up here. Goes on here, as you can see, headlights, mirrors again. So, yeah. And then it's done. And then you got four different color options. First is a, in the Ukraine in summer of 41. You got one in Russia in the summer of 42. You got the Donker Gelb for North Africa in the summer of 42. And you got the Dual Tone for the summer in 44. But this thing is being used so much you probably can get away with everything. So, yeah. Instructions were good so far. Uh, let's do this, these, the decals, because they should be the instruction sheet. So, let's see, they look good, not too shiny. Everything is readable. They look to be in register. So, yeah. Okay, let's see if I can catch the light for you. So you can see, no, I don't think there's enough light sunlight now, but you can get, you see them, so. I don't know how they behave, because I never used them before. 
and it just says ICM on there, so I'm guessing they, they make their own. We'll see what happens. Just back in there. There's one big bag. Resealable bag, but that's also a good thing. Let's start first. It's the beige colored spruce. This is the A sprue. You got the exhaust, the wheels, the chassis, drive trains, leaf springs, steering column. No, not the steering column, between the wheels. The wheel, the uh, radiator van, that's a nice touch. Tools, all look very good. Riveting is nice. Can't see any flash. Detail on the steering wheel is nice. Oh, sorry for that. <coughs> Leaf springs look good. There's one little injected pin mark here, but it's probably just on the inside, so you won't be able to see it anyway. So, no, it was a dab of mud and it's gone. There's the inside as well. There's a little injected pin right there as well. There's also no problem. So, I can't see any flash so far. I'm gonna give you a little close up. That's perfectly. You can see. It's the belt configuration of the engine. Here are the wheels. Part of the wheels. These steering wheels, if you can. This one side is smooth, as you can see. Let's just turn it around real quick. Show the other side. You see, you got those grip details in there. That's a nice touch. Oh. Drifting detail, bolting detail on the wheels, leaf springs. Can see. Now let's show you the where is it? There it is. The shovel. You can see there in the front the riveting detail, and also. There's some. Uh, there it is. The detailing on the back. And you got the ejector pin mark there, but you won't see that. But I mean, that's just a little bit extra work they did. That's a nice thing. So that's the first sprue. Second sprue. Uh. Cowlings, I think they called cowlings. No, not for not for, I can't for, never can remember the correct name for those things. The wheel arcs, who's going here? Not mud flaps. Fenders! They are fenders! Yes. Sorry. Uh, the seats. There's not a real texture, but there is a relief molded in there. You can mostly see it or feel it. Probably when you got some paint and you can see it as well it's not really not putting on a bare plastic like this the engine cowlings I'm just keeping calling on cowlings okay. dash the, this is the front it's 
the sides of the cab, parts of the engine, tools, the grill, all look very good, detailing is so nice again also on the engine, riveting detail, bolting detail and everything. Fenders are pretty nice. This is the, the back plate from the cab, the lights. Yeah, look good. There are some injector pin marks here in the roof of the cab, so if you wanna I don't think you will be able to see those, but they are pretty easily filled. Okay, there's no flash so far seems to be straight as well. I cannot say anything about the fit at the moment because as you can see it's still all on the sprue. I don't know if you see if the oh the camera picks it up. But there is four molded in these seats and the back part of the bench. There's the grill. These parts oh. leave everywhere you can see there. The other side as well. So this looks to be a very nice kit so far. Hmm. That's all the major parts. Next sprue, it's also the last. These are all the parts for the uh, flatbed. Power bar, bottom, sides, front, girders. The go, these go with parts for the uh, jerry can, the fuel can, wheel arcs, fenders. Boxes, the uh, fuel can holders, top of the fuel cans, there's the filler or the yeah, opening of the fuel cans is here. Uh, there isn't any wood texture, and that's a shame because. Uh, kind of have to do that yourself a bit it's completely smooth and it's all it's supposed to be all wood yeah, there's a little bit of work in here backlights, number plate holder yeah and again everything looks straight I cannot really spot any flash so. you see the fenders that's the flatbed itself the fuel can holders these are toolboxes though they don't have any detailing or whatsoever I could see there's the back plate or front <coughs> the sides, the fuel cans, other side, uh, larges, the filler caps for the fuel cans. That's also the underneath, you won't be able to see those either. So, that's that for the major parts. And then we got wheels and clear parts left all in resealable bags so 
Oh, you got enough of these. Yeah, rubber. Squeezable rubber, so that's a good thing. The thread on them is very nice. These are very nice tires. They are uh, solid. Far these are. Let's see. There's nothing on the sides, text-wise, but the the thread on them. You see this. This looks good. These look very good. That's it. That's a plus. And uh, only the clear parts left. There's no photo edge in here. But I'm guessing there will be companies making clear parts for it. So the clear parts are wow, very clear. Uh, let's see. Okay. You can see how clear. There is a little bit of distortion, but you can still read it. The side windows, see, I mean, that's clear. That's very clear. So, yeah, you got sides, front, back, headlights. So, and some more lights, lighting stuff here. So, yeah, that looks very impressive. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's no photo edge. I don't really think that's a bad thing. Most of you know my love for photo edge. Can get back in. And close again, so that's also good. Uh, so, my impression of my first ICM kit the Type L3000S World War II German truck in 135 with kit number 35420. Uh, it looks to be a very nice kit. Uh, like I said, I cannot say a lot about the fit yet because I haven't built it. But the detailing, especially the detailing of the chassis and the engine, are great. Uh, I'm hoping it won't be too hard to pose the hood open so you can actually see the engine. Otherwise, it would be just a big shame having an engine and not being able to show it. Uh, there will be a little bit of work on the flatbed because there's no wood grain or anything on here. But that being said, I'm pretty impressed by the looks of those so far. Uh, it will be a uh, little while, not too long, but it will be waiting to see how the fit is. But looks wise, it looks like a good kit. So far, I would say, yeah. Nicely done, I see. So I hope you like this and there are more coming and I hope to see you next time. So have fun. Bye bye.